College Sorority 101. My name is Mary Hewlett, and I'm a member of the Atlanta Alumni Pathletic Association. This informational event is brought to you by the Atlanta Alumni Pathletic Association, or AAPA. AAPA is a member of the National Panhellenic Conference. And most sororities at the colleges you'll be attending are also members of their campus Panhellenic organization, which is also part of the National Panhellenic Conference, or what we call NPC. NPC is the umbrella organization for 26 international women's fraternities and sororities. So are you all confused yet? <laughs> okay, let's start with the easy part. Sororities and fraternities are social organizations that men and women join during their collegiate years. There are 26 NPC sororities, but some of them are called fraternities, <coughs> mostly because the term sorority didn't exist when they were founded in the 1800s. So for ease of language today, let's call them all sororities. Sororities exist today because they provide a good democratic social experience. Make no, have no doubt about it, we are social sororities, and no matter which sorority you end up joining, you will have a fabulous social experience. Sororities also give value beyond college years. It's not just about being a collegiate member, you are a sorority member for life. Sororities create through their ideals, an ever-widening circle of service. Our members and our chapters are philanthropic and understand the importance of giving back. Each year, NPC sororities donate more than $5 million to good causes. They provide more than $2.8 million in scholarships. And they donate over 500,000 hours to their communities in service. Sororities also develop the individual's potential through leadership opportunities and group efforts. NPC sororities are the training ground for tomorrow's leaders, and that is you. NPC sororities also fill the need for belonging. They encourage collegians and alumni to adhere to high standards that help our that help ensure that our members achieve high academic standards as well as adhere to high standards and values and social behaviors. But enough from me. As you're enjoying the pictures flashing on the screen, we're going to go to our panelists. First of all, I'd like to introduce Chris Bridges. Chris is a graduate of Michigan State University. She is the national president of her NPC sorority. She's the former chairman of the National Panhellenic College, the National Panhellenic Conference College Panhellenics Committee, and she served on the NPC Executive Committee. With these and her many other NPC and national sorority roles, there is no one more qualified than Chris to be a panelist for College Sorority 101. Chris lives in Dunwoody with her husband and two sons, one of whom is a senior at Marist, so he's going through some selections just as you are right now. Chris, can you tell me what the greatest benefit of belonging to a sorority is to you? Thanks, Mary. Boy, there are so many benefits. First of all, good afternoon. So happy to see so many of you here this afternoon to learn more about sorority membership and the entire recruitment process. Um, I went to a very large university quite a number of years ago, and when I attended um, Michigan State University with 45,000 undergraduate members, being a part of a Greek organization certainly made that large university a lot smaller. Um, the women that I met uh, in my pledge class and in my, in my sorority are my lifelong friends. In fact, I just got back from a trip to Italy two weeks ago with one of my sorority sisters from Michigan State. So, but not only those that I met in college, but after college, when I moved to Atlanta, to those women who I've met who are members of my national organization have become my best friends. So making life smaller and learning from each other is certainly one of the best benefits. Great, thank you so much, Chris. Now I'd like to introduce Maggie Ginn. 
Maggie is a sophomore at Georgia Tech, majoring in business administration. She's originally from Noonan, Georgia, and she graduated from the Heritage School in the spring of 2010. In addition to being involved as, at her sorority at Tech, she serves as an intern at the National Office of a Sorority. She's involved in several campus organizations as well, including Kids at College and Campus Outreach, and she's an athletic trainer for the Georgia Tech football team. So Maggie, share with us what you think the benefits of a sorority are. Okay, well first of all, I'd like to say that um, I'm excited to be here for you, and we actually, all three of us sent in a bio that she's been reading, and I was sad to hear that my extra little funny thing at the end was omitted. So I'd like to say that my dream boy is Ryan Gosling. Uh, so that's my important fact, you guys all know. Um, I didn't know who he was, so I didn't know. <laughs> Well, hmm, okay. Um, I also saw the doll last week. Oh, I love Jake Tatum. But, um, anywho, so, yes, I graduated from Tech, and um, the high school I went to actually was very small. Um, I graduated with a class of 39 other students, and so, of course, um, the transition from that small community to a school like Georgia Tech was quite a little bit overwhelming, to be honest with you. Um, but I mean, joining sorority has been wonderful because it just gives you a smaller group. It's kind of your own um, bubble of friends, circle of friends that you're with for meals, you're with for social events. Um, and through that, I mean, you indirectly get leadership skills. Um, you grow as a, a student, as a scholar, um, no matter what school you go to. Um, and then, of course, you just get really amazing friends. So it's been wonderful. Um, and so along with that, of course, the socials and mixers and um, tailgating, formals and date nights are also a good bonus. So. Great, thank you so much. And finally, I'd like to introduce Krista Sylvan. Krista, Krista is a graduate of Emory University and she's the scholarship committee chair for her national sorority. She's a former college district president and recruitment district director for all of her sorority chapters in the Southeast. She also currently serves as a release figure methodology specialist for some universities in the Southeast, helping them with recruitment. Krista works outside the home as the, direct, as the director of operations, and she and her husband and two daughters live in Decatur. So Krista, share with us what you think the benefits of a sorority are. Okay, and for me, it's a little bit inverse. I grew up in Chicago and came down for Emory with nobody <laughs> else. Um, practically even from my state. So for, from that perspective, when I joined a story or part of the reason I went through recruitment was really just to form some connection with some other folks outside of my freshman hall. And Emory has a deferred recruitment, which means we don't have recruitment until January. So I also had the connections I made on the freshman hall, which were wonderful, but then I also decided to go through recruitment um, just to expand my network, really. Um, and it was a great experience. The other thing is I was fairly shy when I came to college. Um, and the being a member of the sorority allowed me opportunities for leadership in a very safe space. And I think that that's been, in addition to the wonderful academic experience I had at my alma mater, the leadership opportunities within that organization allowed me to really gain a sense of confidence and feel more comfortable um, about being able to take on leadership positions and other organizations on campus and also as I've grown as an alumna, whether that be in my professional world or in other civic opportunities I've pursued since then. Great, thank you, Krista.